Uh, this is a good question. Mate says, does buying Bitcoin devalue fiat even more or not really? Absolutely, it does. The whole reason why the US dollar has its strength is because of its velocity, is because people use it. Think about people when the, the main reason why fiat is still relevant is because most people get paid in fiat. Like, think about the system there, the system that they have on people, the grasp they have on people, especially here in Canada. And I think it's probably the same in most countries. But they pay you in fiat, so you have no choice to use fiat, right? And before you even get your paycheck, they take 30% of it off for income taxes. They take some of it for the Canada pension plan. They think that they can invest your money better than you can. And it's not only that, but they just need more money to keep their system going. And they're way past the point of return with this. Their liabilities on those pensions are far more than what they have in there. And it's just a train wreck. It's an absolute train wreck. So yes, absolutely buying Bitcoin does devalue fiat because it takes away the velocity of the fiat dollar. And the next step here, we've seen professional athletes. By the way, did you guys see that clip of... Hold on, let's watch this. <clears throat> Did you guys see that clip of Saquon Barkley? Hold on. This was absolutely insane. Okay, this is 33 seconds. I think this is it. So I don't know if you're familiar with Saquon Barkley or not. He was with the New York Giants. He now plays with the Philadelphia Eagles. But I think four or five years ago, he announced, it might have been less than that, but he announced that he was going to take his half his salary in Bitcoin. And he was called crazy. And then Bitcoin went down and he was called even crazier. So I said a couple or a month ago or a couple months ago, whenever it was, I said when I was picking my NFL fantasy team that Saquon was my second choice after my quarterback. And the reason I picked Saquon, even though there was a bunch of people ranked higher than him, was because he's a Bitcoiner. And I titled the show Betting on Bitcoiners. And I said, I just know this guy. He's a Bitcoiner. He, I know his sort of mentality, his work ethic, his overall outlook on things. And so I took a chance on him. And I know it's like a fake fantasy bullshit. I don't really care that much about it. But this was uh, a play from the game on Sunday. This is Saquon Barkley. This is incredible. I've never seen anything like this before. Philadelphia. <clears throat> Hurts has time. Now locates Barkley out of the backfield. Barkley slips two tackles and picks up the first down. Tipping up in the air to the 30. A gain of 14 for what? Barkley. Out of moves right here. Makes the first guy miss. The spin move at the last second. Bro. And then, what, Tiki, you're wrong. Bro, what is bro. that? Bro, we got to see this again. This kid is special, man. Just, <laughs> you <laughs> even <laughs> think to do that. Pardon me. <laughs> so that is a Bitcoiner. That is Bitcoin at work. So yes, uh, professional athletes, musician, uh, musicians, they're going to start asking for Bitcoin. The most skilled workers in the world are going to start asking for Bitcoin. And when that happens, that's going to significantly reduce the value of the fiat dollar because it's going to lose its velocity and that's one of the biggest things keeping the illusion alive is their velocity in the dollar 